Rainy, rainy, rainy day. So we're gonna have storms off and on, whether it be rain or actual storms till 5 p.m. It's just sprinkling right now. You can barely feel it. But joy. <laughs> These uh, Brussels sprouts are getting huge. So huge. Get them in there. Look at all them Brussels sprouts. It's so pretty the way the beads of water just sit there so perfectly. Wow. That amazes me. <laughs> so pretty. We cut a lot of the poppers yesterday, but man, they've grown a lot overnight. Of course, we've got the jalapenos, <laughs> the jalapenos, and uh, uh, I believe these, yeah, they're habanero, they're hot Portugal peppers or something like that. I guess they're supposed to turn red. Yeah. We'll see. We shall see. We got more coming. Pretty, pretty exciting. So we've had a mishap in the beans and the deer have found their way through the trail to our garden. So we got to do something. <laughs> the beans are fine. <laughs> the flowers are fine. They just want these beautiful leaves is what they want. So, um, yeah, they've eaten quite a few. <laughs> so basically this whole <laughs> line, they've eaten all the way down. And now they're persisting to go that way. But we did get some beans yesterday. Got quite a few more coming in. I just want to... Uh, wait a little while and give them their um, chance to grow a little fatter, a little longer. But um, tomorrow we'll be back out here picking again. Um, any suggestions on, without, I mean, obviously we can't really close this in because I won't be able to reach. So any suggestions about the deer? We do live on a deer run. <laughs> um, I know, I know, we need a fence out here um but that's not in the budget this year so anyway <laughs> that's that look at that zucchini zucchini all right i gotta have a little celebration you know yellow squash still going good these cucumbers are blowing up. We had to string them. And we've got cucumbers happening all over the place. So before we know it, I'll come out here and our big photo will come out here and we'll be like, buy them. We got a big cucumber. Um, so this one here will be clipped up onto the string like this with these clips and every day we'll have to come out and do that we got more red tomatoes we ripped most of the lettuce out to give it some more airflow but this year we have had so much rain um the basil's loving it um, loving that sun, but look at this. And we feed, so it's not a problem with that. Um, we just have had a lot of rain. So these are the heirloom tomatoes. They are growing pretty good, and they're going to be scrummed to the There's lots and lots down there. But yeah, almost every day, look at these leaves. Ugh. Every break in the rain, I'm not doing it today. 
but I mean, we're not struggling for fruit though. Lots and lots of meters. These are the Jubilee, so they will be orange when they are ready to, to pick. More basil, more crazy lettuce. This is the pink ox heart. You can see that meter back there if I can get my camera to focus. Sheesh. Those are the pink ox hearts, and this is another beef steak. My camera got, I don't know, it just like went dark for some reason. So anyways, I can't wait till these peas start doing their thing so I can rip them out of here. Um, I will never do this again. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. No, no, it wasn't. So um, they normally don't ever get this big. They usually just kind of do their bush thing. And I don't know. We got these were heirloom ones, so I don't know. They're pretty high. I mean, this is like seven, seven and a half feet. It's all the way up here. Yeah, never again will I do that. But again, if we don't try something new, then we don't know, right? So. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're nuts, absolutely nuts. But again, never again will I do this. Oy. It's absolutely crazy. Oy. All right, well, hopefully they start throwing pods soon so I can get them out of here. <laughs> it looks like the deer have been out here too. Our lilies are pretty much all lilied. We have maybe a, oh, I think, no, I think they're all done. This is really spread a lot. Isn't that pretty there on the log? A lot, a lot of rain though. Lots of rain. Jeez, that turned out beautiful. That was just a bud yesterday. So pretty. All right, well, it's starting to rain a little bit harder and um, I think I'm gonna go in. I don't remember what this is called, but we have it popping up in our lawn, like everywhere. Also, these guys and daisies Every now and then I dig them up and put them someplace else, but um, this is pretty much where we walk. This is, this is our yard. <laughs> My daughter left a sheet out here to get rained on. Awesome. But yeah, this is pretty much our lawn. Um, obviously we don't have a much around the fireplace with lawn, but this is hostic and moist here in the Adirondacks. Yep. I have to mow out here. Um, I think one of you mentioned we should just get clover in our lawn. Like I said, once we get going, um, that's all we pretty much have is grass with um, plantain and clover everywhere. There's just clover everywhere. Yep. So, and the pokeweed is up the house. <laughs> uh, something is eating on our rhubarb this year. So, looks like this year for rhubarb is gonna be a mess. All this rain, I'm telling you. Yep, but this guy got big. The waterfall grass did not come back, so I planted Carly Parsons which I need to harvest some. Boy. And our lily beetles have completely annihilated our lilies and are working on this one. And, um, well, basically, um, 
I give up. <laughs> I give up. It's uh, been horrendous. So, um, I don't know. We're definitely going to have to do some major pest control here. So, I don't want to move the lilies this year. And I don't want to move them where the lily beetles are going to go to or anything else. So they seem to be pretty much over here by the pond. But we got a lot of other things to worry about this year. Um, it's, it makes me sad. Um, however, I can't be concentrating on that this year. So anyway, um, that's it. Bigfoot and I, uh, this coming fall, want to extend our garden. <sighs> and that's why I can't be concerned right now with the lily beetles. Although I do, I do need to take care of them eventually. See, they just pop up here in the yard anywhere they want. These are our potatoes are starting to die back. So before we know it, we'll have taters. Y'all have a blessed day and uh, don't forget to feed your slugs. Oh yeah, wait. Also our eggplant is starting to flower. <laughs> And we have a ladybug. Ah, oh, there he goes. <laughs> he landed over here somewhere, I think. He flew away. Oh well. Independence Day, everyone. We still do live in a beautiful country amongst all the craziness and all the evil. There is a lot of peace still. And we have freedom. Still. What are you doing to keep up? <laughs>